Good morning, you guys. It is time for your health check. And look, by now you've probably heard that two major COVID-19 drug trials have been halted on safety concerns. Uh, Johnson & Johnson, as well as Eli Lilly, both pressing pause. But look, experts say there is no need to be scared here. Look, this is what clinical trials are for, especially phase, uh, phase three. Look, this is a reminder of the messiness of science and really what trials are designed for to uh, test uh, safety and efficacy before vaccines are widely distributed. Uh, meantime, here in North Texas, the first ever COVID-19 vaccine trial for teenagers is happening. So Ventavia Research Group in Keller is looking for 16 and 17 year olds to help them to test whether their vaccine can prevent COVID-19 in teenagers. Dr. Greg Fuller, one of the trial's principal investigators says the study is vital because Teens play such a critical role in our fight against COVID between school and sports and extracurriculars. They often have contact with the most people, meaning they have the potential to be super spreaders if a vaccine isn't effective. They're a group that spreads it to our vulnerable population. So this is an important group to uh, extend the vaccine to so that we can get uh, extended coverage to, again, get back to normal. Right now, the trial is looking for ages 16 and above, but in a couple of weeks, Ventavia plans to open another trial in Fort Worth, lowering that age to 12. For more information on how to get your kiddo involved, you can head to their website. That's VentaviaResearch.com. A new study released hours ago by the Hispanic Research Center at UT Health found second and third generation Latinos are at higher risk for diabetes, high blood pressure, and heart disease. So at higher risk than their immigrant parents. Now doctors say, this is interesting, those young people who are born here are dealing with a host of health issues earlier in life, including more clogged arteries and visceral fat, which is the fat that, that we consider bad fat that's wrapped around your organs. But researchers are still looking into what's causing the health disparity between Mexican-American immigrants and uh, their children, but they believe the biggest factors are, surprise, surprise, nutrition and exercise habits in the U.S., uh, look, we tend to eat more and move less than other cultures. It is really that simple. Uh, and a quick reminder this morning, because today is National Hand Washing Day, and I know this year, every day has felt like National Hand Washing Day, right? Well, uh, washing your hands is one of the best ways, of course, to fight COVID-19, to fight the flu. Remember, give it at least 20 seconds. You wanna go between your fingers, up to your wrists, between the fingernails, I tell my niece and nephew to sing their ABCs twice to time it out properly, say a prayer, do what you got to do, <laughs> just do it often, uh, especially if you've been out in public touching doors and handles. So Greg, I just want to wish you a uh, happy National Hand Washing Day this morning. <laughs> All right, and I appreciate it, and I just washed my hands probably about five minutes ago, Sonia, with the uh, soap and water. It may not have been two minutes, but I did the best I could. All right, so we appreciate the tip there.